Hi. Hello, Panda Nation. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Happy whatever day it is. Um, I hope all is well. So I wanted to do another one. And this one was patterns in prophecy, prophetic patterns, patterns in prophecy, kind of, I guess. And when I say patterns, I'm referring to this, the way that somebody with intuition thinks. So um, I guess I'll give a little background, a little bit from what I know, a little bit. Um, so I know of two Hebrew words, right? And I don't know the names of the words off the top of my head, but I know that one, and these two Hebrew words are, the, are words for prophecy. And the first one is, uh, it means like a raindrop falling from the sky to the earth. And that, to me, is like a foretelling prophecy. Okay? And then there is another one that is like a bubbling brook uh, prophecy um, as well. I could also see that one being kind of um, effervescent as well. Uh, carbonated water or like a soda, effervescent champagne. So, and that one I would say is like a forth telling. Not a foretelling, but a forth telling. So foretelling would be um, like when I told the guy um, that you're going to see your girlfriend or fiance or the woman he loves uh, from Japan and he had no hope whatsoever and I said no you're going to see her and I just knew he was and then on the video like I told you I saw them last weekend and I was like <laughs> it freaked me out I mean I knew it was going to happen I didn't know when you know but I knew it was and there she was talking to him and I knew that she had been praying. Um, and so that would be a foretelling. All right, so fo a fourth telling would be, I was praying the other day and I was talking to a friend and I know somebody that they're very closely acquainted with. And I was telling them about this person and describing this person and kind of what that person is going through and I'd say in a roundabout way, you could say that that's a forth telling. It's just saying something about, never met the person, I've seen a picture of the person, I've never talked to the person, but that's how it works, at least for me. So one is kind of bubbling out, the other one is coming from above. Um, and so that is that. So how does the intuition part work in here? So with intu the intuition part, um, the pattern that I'm trying, I'm going to give an attempt here to describe or kind of what I see is um, I see like all these little puzzle pieces or even these little frames, uh, picture frames, frames of information, uh, frames are that are part of a larger pattern. And then each of those frames of those pieces of the puzzle or like the information that I got with the instance of the man with his girlfriend in Japan or my friend um, and their, their friend. Um, and it's part of a bigger, bigger puzzle. So another word that comes to mind is a Greek word and the Greek word is tupos. And um, that word means, a, means pattern, it actually means pattern. And the definition of the word is, let's say you have wax, when they used to do signatures on letters like the king, and they would stamp their letters or put a seal, and they would melt the uh, wax, and then they would put their signet ring into the, the wax and say, you know, impress it. And then an impression of the ring would, would, would give uh, validation of their authority on the seal. And so... Anyways, that, that impression on the, the, the wax is, is the two posts. It's the pattern. And in Hebrews, it says, um, quoting the Old Testament, that Abraham, uh, Moses 
when he was building the tabernacle in the wilderness that he looked into heaven and he saw a pattern, a tupos. And what he saw was a pattern of the uh, Ark of the Covenant in the tabernacle. And so um, he built what he saw according to the pattern. All right. So patterns, 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 patterns. So yes, so there's patterns, okay? And then there's experience, and then there's experience with these patterns. And now when I like feel things or sense things or perceive things, my God, um, I perceive and I'm familiar with a pattern, a pattern that's prophetic. And those are the kind of patterns. And so as, a, as an NF, an intuitive feeler, I, my intuition goes out there, right? And it perceives and get inform it gets information, and then my feelings go and they do sonar on what it found. And they form a pattern, they form an image, they form a symbol, they form an emotion. Whatever that intuition manifests into my feeling, then I know, then I know. If you're an NT, INTJ, um, I think, because I've been an INTJ, you, the intuition goes to the thinking, and then the thinking um, creates a system, a system that goes very far out. Um, as I give the example with Nikolai Tesla or um, Newton or some sort of scientist person like that where they have to think about systems and build on these systems, right? And, and the systems are not just any, they're revolutionary long-term systems that, 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 that are monumental, that change the fabric of technology and, you know, kind of how we live kind of systems. Because that's, those are those kind of people, at least, you know, the ones that I mentioned. So, um, and that's with the thinking side. So the thinking side is more of a scalable system that affects um, systems, right? And you can see how their systems did. And I feel like that that's a kind of a prophetic type of thinking. Um, and then, and that's a, those are, that's a kind of a pattern thing, you know? Um, and then the NF, uh, intuitive feeler, um, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, supposedly Martin Luther King, um, somebody else, I can't remember. Um, Anyways, these people did the same scaling, right, with a system, but to me, with people's hearts, with people's lives, with the fabric of the human being, almost, if you could say that. And they did it by changing themselves and their hearts, and then were able to, I guess, um, share that with whoever they encountered and do so freely. So, in a nutshell, that is kind of my take on patterns and, and prophecy or prophetic patterns. And um, if it's interesting, if it's relevant, if it makes any sense, if you like it, if you don't like it, let me know. And uh, let's talk about it. Thank you. Love you.